We arrived in South Auckland at just the right time. We have 2,020. Me. So one fucking record, you're fucking everywhere. <laughs> you're like a rash. <laughs> Like a rash, Tyree and Deech getting more good news, two songs in the top 20. But of course the big news is the fact Brothers now been at number one for 10 consecutive weeks. How does it feel to have uh, beaten the record? Uh, we're stoked man, like we're really happy. Like it doesn't show it now but when we found out, when we first found out we were like yeah, yeah. 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 I excited. mean it's just good to know that um, we've got New Zealand supporting us. Young Sid couldn't join us today, he was at work, but they all seem to credit friendship and mutual admiration for their achievement. We just like jammed together one, one time at um, one of his, his school talent quiz. I was actually yeah. a fan of this guy. I used to right, always yeah. see, see this guy at breakdancing competitions. <laughs> hey, they say that story, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but anyway, anyway, this guy was like, you know, I was, I was a good, big fan of him, you know? Mm. And um, when we finally got together, it was, it was just like, I don't know, love at first listen, I guess. It'll culminate in their debut album and the song that managed to defeat everything else, including the latest Eminem single, for 10 consecutive weeks. When you've got someone like Eminem sitting there, yeah. that is a pretty hard person to bump, eh? Definitely. So which makes it even better that you have. He was actually coming on real strong. Like yeah. um, Universal was telling us, you know, you guys got to keep grinding, keep telling everyone mm. about the single so we can smash that 23-year-old record. 23 years since this America's cut monstrosity ruled the charts for nine weeks back in 1986. In a similar fashion, Smash Proof have managed to tap into a wide audience, but with a good song. Even winning over members of their own family. Uncles and aunties, they don't even like hip hop. They're like, I love your song, brother. I like it when you're driving in the car. <laughs> and there's no car, but they know it's a car because I got my hand up like an idiot. But it's that's Chris, Chris, um, Chris Graham's doing, man. And I think it came out real good. He's that guy's got a good vision, man. Seriously. Chris Graham was the brains behind that video, another helping hand to breaking the record. All in all, it's been a good day for Smash Proof. Their album now sitting comfortably at number eight. David Farrier, Three News.